College football is back at it here on the channel once again, but this time we're doing something a little bit different. Unlike any NCAA series you've seen in the past on this channel with my brother and I creating team builder teams, this will be a solo dynasty of myself taking over a single school and hopefully bringing them to glory. I introduce to you the Cajun Six Conference. We're gonna be creating a conference of schools based in Louisiana, Louisiana Tech, Tulane, UL Lafayette, and two of the more popular HBCU schools, Grambling State and Southern. Pretty cool, right? So what about the last team in the Cajun Six Conference? Who's that gonna be? Well, that's us, little old us, the Louisiana Monroe Warhawks. And you might be asking, what about LSU? They're the biggest team in the entire state. Where are they in the Cajun Six? Well, they're gonna be playing in the SEC still, because it just means more, you know what I mean? So how's this series gonna play out? We're in a conference of five other teams as UL Monroe, and to answer, I'm gonna be usering these five other schools, but I'm never gonna play as them. From time to time, we'll probably catch them and watch them as a CBU versus CBU game and see how they look in game. But for the most part, this series is gonna be about the journey of the UL Monroe Warhawks. And can we bring them success in the hotbed of recruiting in the Deep South? A few backstory measures here. I've simulated six seasons into the future from the base roster. So no Bryce Young of Alabama, no freshman from that original roster. And basically pushed out all of these in real life players so that this universe that we're entering is completely customized. Our head coach is Melvin Bro. He's a former UL Monroe wide receiver who took a job at UTSA, created the number one passing offense, won a bowl game, then he went off and took the OC job at Ohio State. He won a national championship, got C.J. Stroud a Heisman, and then left Ohio State to test his chops at a head coaching gig. And he failed miserably at UCF. He ended up as the head coach to rival Tulsa, where he finished 5-7, and seven, and then the next season won a bowl game. Again, leading a heavy-duty passing attack. Bro couldn't refuse an offer to UL Monroe as a head coach job opened up there. And now that he's gotten this head coach thing kind of down a little bit, why not go back home where there's some security and build the program up? So we're gonna be following Coach Bro's journey as he attempts to bring UL Monroe back to the top. Which now brings me to you guys, the viewers. If you would like to be in this series, since all these players are CPU generated, please post in the comment section below your player name and position, and if you prefer to be a freshman, a sophomore, a junior, or a senior, and what school you want to go to inside this Cajun Six Conference. Now, I can't promise any edits of skin tone, player face, height or weight, numbers. This is simply a renaming to bring this conference more to life. I'll choose the best names and the most creative ideas, so best of luck to you guys. Now, for my patron supporters out there, I would like you all to DM me on Discord, Twitter, email, or even do a direct message on Patreon. What school you would like to go to in this Dynasty file? I can show you privately and off stream who the 99 overall players are in this dynasty if you'd like to do that. The reason I'm doing this is that these players will be eligible to enter into the Saints franchise in year one's draft class. And so by taking over a CPU 99 overall player, you're basically guaranteed to be a heavy hitter in the Madden 23 franchise. So you've pretty much guessed that this NCAA series is gonna be directly tied to the New Orleans Saints franchise in Madden 23. And the top performing players and custom players will be created from this series into Madden 23's draft class. Player ratings will always be a minus 20 to their college overall rating. So for example, if your player is a 99, you'll get a minus 20, you'll be a 79 overall player as a rookie heading into the draft class. Dev traits will be determined by the following criteria. Let's start with the X factors. X factor dev traits will be given to Patreon supporters at the $20 level, or if anyone has bought this value of a player with their channel points. If you need a breakdown of what you can buy with channel points or how to earn those, there's a link below in the description of this video, as well as an Excel sheet that shows you exactly how much each player is worth. Superstar dev traits will be given to patron supporters at the $10 level, or again, if you bought this type of player with your channel points. No custom player can be lower than a star dev in our Madden franchise, meaning no one's gonna be a normal dev in the Saints franchise as long as you're a patron. If you buy your player with channel points, you could possibly buy that player at a normal dev. 
So depending on how many channel points you spend, obviously the more you spend, the better the player. The least you spend, the worse the player. So we've broken down how custom players from this NCAA series will translate into Madden 23. So how about the CPU players? How are they going to be determined their overall or their dev traits? Well, overall, again, will be a minus 20 to whatever they ended up as, as a senior or a junior, an upperclassman that's declaring for the draft. But how are their dev traits going to be determined? The following. Top CPU players from the NCAA series who are an All-American, an award winner, a stat leader, a national champion, or a Heisman winner will all be included inside the Madden 23 franchise. CPU players that meet just one of these criteria will be a normal dev. CPU players that meet two of these criteria will be a star dev. CPU players that meet just three of these will be a superstar dev. CPU players that win a national championship or a Heisman Trophy and meet two other of these criteria listed above will be a superstar X Factor. So basically what I'm saying is this, the more accolades that you can pull off, that will determine your dev trait. So for example, if I'm an all-American CPU guy and I don't win anything else, I will be a normal dev. I'll be pretty good. I'll probably be a 99 overall, but I will be a 79 normal dev. If I'm an all-American and an award winner at that, I'll be a star dev. Now let's say, for example, I'm a national champion, but I'm an all-American, I've only got two accomplishments. You're probably gonna be a star dev. You're not gonna be a superstar dev, you'll be a star dev if you've only met two categories. Doing this ensures a method to the madness and it's consistent and that players are being attributed in a balanced way and gives our draft class some life. The best players will be the cream of the crop and then there's everybody else. So guys, that's all I've got for you right now about the Cajun Six Conference and this UL Monroe Dynasty. Give me a couple days to get your renames in and get your custom prospects created, and we will go from there. We'll get started in week one action, maybe week two. We'll see how this whole dynasty is going to shape out. Uh, more information to come on episode number one in the coming days, though. Now, I do want to turn your attention over to a longtime supporter, longtime viewer, Heel Boy. This man, he is awesome. He's a great content creator. He's up and coming in my eyes. He runs his own Madden league called the HFL. He also has a college aspect and a side series that goes along with it called the HCAA. Does his stuff over on Twitch. I'm going to let him take the floor and him talk about his leagues a little bit. And one thing that I know he's going to mention, but I want you to hear it from me, is that my patrons and channel points winners, you guys are already coming into the Saints franchise in the draft class. You guys will also be moving over to the HFL draft classes, along with what Heelboy does in his league. He's going to create other people too, but you get the idea. You're going to be in both series. So whether you like it or not, you're going over there. <laughs> so I hope you guys go give him a follow. Go give him some love out there over on Twitch and, and get some more interest and some more following and activity with the HFL. It's a very fun league. I'm a part of it. I get to run a team, and uh, hopefully they do well. Hopefully I make the right decisions. But I'm going to let him take the floor. Gold, thank you so much for that introduction. So, guys, as Gold was saying, I am Hillboy, and I run two leagues in the HFL as well as the HCAA. It is a CPU versus CPU live gameplay league where you make the decisions for your respective teams in the HFL, and I control the sticks, so to speak, as the GM um, for each one of you. You are the representatives for your organizations. You are the GM. So you get all the decisions in the free agencies, the trades that you have with other GMs, draft day, for instance. You get the power and say in that, I'm just controlling the sticks on your submissions. And guys, as far as my submissions go for customs, they begin their path in the HCAA as they pave their roads into the HFL. So joining the HCAA enables you to pave your path into the HFL and create your storyline. You get the say on your recruiting and where you commit in the game within HCAA, which I use College Football Revamped on NCAA 14 as well. This will help enable for clarity 
in the background of why players are being considered, you know, a generational talent, for instance, in when they get to the HFL because they're staying power. We have highlights of these players. So that's where this full immersion comes in, where you can translate from the HCAA into the HFL. And guys, where you fit into that coming from Gold's channel is by patrons, contest winners, and with channel points, you get to be part of my HFL draft class. And as Gold mentioned before, and how I would describe it is as a alternate timeline. Maybe you didn't like where you, your custom win in Gold Glovers uh, series. So you're being provided a second opportunity to be a part of an alternate timeline. And maybe your same custom that didn't go to your liking in Gold's content found themselves on a team that's more to your liking in my alternate timeline. So a cool snippet from the HFL League is where a league full of custom players that they have been translated into head coaches. 32 head coaches, custom head coaches, are being brought into Madden 23 as they were former HFL 22 players. I won't go too much into detail beyond that, but guys, come check out the rest on the channel that I have on my Discord as well as on my Twitch channel to see what this combined community is all about. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you there. This is Hillboy signing off. Thanks, Hillboy. Should be a fun HFL season, I tell you that right now. Go Denver Broncos. Let's ride, baby. Let's ride. Oh, Russell Wilson. He's a square. He's a square. I probably only gonna use him for one year. That's probably my strategy. See, as a as a coach and as a GM, you know, you gotta think about these things inside the HFL. Alright guys, that's going to do it here for the video. Leave a like if you like this thing and let me know if you have any questions about this dynasty. Let me know if you have any questions about the HFL. I'm sure Heelboy will be monitoring the YouTube comment section. His Discord link is in the description below as well as a pinned comment as well as his Twitch channel if you guys would like to go follow the HFL news. I will see you guys later on in the week for the next episode, episode one of the UL Monroe Dynasty. See you guys in the next one. As always, thank you so much for watching and peace.